custom shape. So that's this white arrow in the top left, second tool from the top. The keyboard shortcut for this is the letter A. That's a good one to memorize because this you will use a lot. Um, notice how we switch to this tool. We get our points turn blue. That means they are currently all selected. If we want to select just one, we just click on it, let go. And now I can click and drag and move just that single anchor point around. Um, so this is one way where we can make some custom shapes. If I wanted to select more than one anchor point, I could use this tool, drag a box around them. I could also use hold down the shift key and select multiple anchor points. And then if I click on this segment here that connects them and click and drag, I can move those two points together. The other thing we can do with this tool, with rectangles at least, is we can select the, uh, the rounded rectangle circles here. And if we just wanted to round the top of that and uh, not the bottoms. So again, we can use that, that direct selection tool to create some interesting shapes. We can also delete things with that tool. So uh, we could select an individual anchor point and press delete, and we have a half circle. So just so you're aware of the different things that you can do with this tool.